What is going on YouTube? This is episode one of Discord Talks Podcast, other known as DTP. Uh, today it's just me, but in the future I'd like to have some guests on that would like to talk and also, you know, just give their opinions on what we're talking about and if they have any suggestions and whatnot. But today we're doing some sauces. We have some sauces that I got from Walmart. They were a dollar each for a bunch of different sauces that sounded good. These are all like spicy, but like, yeah, we got Melinda's ghost pepper ketchup, which is what we're going to start with first. Now, this is a podcast, and also if you watch the video, you can also see the visuals as well. And uh, I just figured do it that way to get more of an experience. So let's see here. Melinda's ghost pepper ketchup. I don't know why it just says ghost ketchup. Mine says ghost pepper ketchup on the front of it. But anyway, I'm going to open that bad boy up. I got a plate here with a spoon. Should come in handy. Shit. I don't know if I should shake it or. Excuse me. Alright, I'm going to shake up the ketchup. Just because I don't know if it's all juicy and shit. Get my spoon here. So we got one, two, three, four, five sauces in total that we're trying today. Um, get a little bit on the spoon. Nice to taste it. Nice to taste it. Nice to taste it, yes, indeed. Let me switch pictures so you can... I don't want it to zoom in, what the fuck? Alright. So I currently have the sauce on the spoon. And I'm about to take my first bite. My first bite, here we go. Shit. <clears throat> that is all right. Spicy, but it's also like uh, you can you can you can eat it without getting discomfort. Really, it's just a nice burn. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not too strong. It's subtle. Yet it kind of kind of sits there for a second but now it's kind of already gone and yeah <clears throat> I'd say out of a 10 rating I'd give Melinda's ghost pepper uh, ketchup uh, definitely probably a 7.5 just because I like the taste and I like the heat but something about it isn't... I like ketchup, you know. And I wasn't really getting ketchup vibes when I tasted this. It, this was more like just thick hot sauce. But it was still good. And now I see the ghost pepper on it. For Maybe, I don't know if I'm like... Maybe I'm hallucin... I'm pre-hallucinating from trying all the hot stuff that I didn't see the pepper word on the screen beforehand. It's crazy. Anyway, we're going to be moving on to our second sauce, Melinda's Jalapeno Ketchup. Melinda's Jalapeno Ketchup. This is what we are trying today. I know it says five eighty nine, but I got these all for a dollar. Uh, they had like a sale going on, so this is Melinda's. Well, fuck off. Add pop up on the screen. Anyway, you can see what it is right there. Oh shit! All right, 
This one didn't have the top on it. Like, or it didn't have like a ceiling thing on it when I opened it. So, I don't know if I should eat it still. Because <laughs> it didn't have a, a seal. Some Anybody could have put like, like poison in it or something. It smells good. You know, you only live once, right? And this is my first episode of the podcast, so make sure my spoon is clean. A little bit of the jalapeno ketchup. Hopefully I don't regret this. Hmm. That one isn't really spicy. The ghost pepper one was definitely more spicy. Okay, wait. Kind of creeps in at the end. But it's not that bad, though. Kind of reminds me of, uh... Hmm. It's like a nice wing sauce. It's really good. But it is ketchup. I give that out of a... Probably an 8 out of 10. I like it. I like the taste better a lot. A lot more better than the ghost pepper ketchup. Because there's just too much spice. Not a lot, not a lot of that flavor. Has like a salsa type of, the jalapeno one, a little bit of a salsa flavor too. Okay, this next one is a Red Hot Squeeze Frank's Sriracha. This one did have a seal, thank God. Uh, let's see here. Frank's. Frank's Red Hot. <laughs> yeah. Gonna eat us some Frank's Red Hot. Squeeze. And then it's Sriracha, right? Yeah, sriracha. If you guys are wondering, if you're not watching and you're just listening, I'm just trying to type it in. Just a sauce. <clears throat> uh. So this is what it is. It's the Red Hot Sriracha Squeeze. <sighs> it's a little bottle. I love Sriracha, so this should be a pretty good one. Yep, it looks like Sriracha. And put the cap on that. Have a little bit. I put a little bit more of this one on it just because I'm assuming I'll like it. <clears throat> For some reason, that one just tasted kind of old. Even though it's not old, it doesn't expire till next year, but it just didn't taste as fresh as the other ones and it was kind of the texture was kind of a greedy texture but uh yeah it was, so I give it like probably a 6.5 or a 6 out of 10 um the taste and heat scale I don't know if I should have separate scales for heat and taste but it's kind of combining it together so so far the jalapeno ketchup is in the lead. I think I said that was an 8 out of 10. And the ghost pepper was 7.5. Red Hot Squeeze Sriracha is definitely like a 6.5, I'd say. Don't want to rate it too low. These other ones could be worse. This is another ghost pepper one, I think. This one is Melinda's... Alright. Hot sauce. So this is what this is. <clears throat> yeah, not excited for this one. 
it's hot sauce and it's ghost pepper so it's going to be like the ketchup except ketchup it has a little bit of sweetness in it probably from the tomatoes this is just straight up hot peppers and shit so yeah I'm not going to take a huge bite I'm just going to put a little pool of it on the spoon and give that a taste <laughs> again it has the same amount of heat maybe even more than the ghost pepper ketchup by Melinda's but it's definitely really good it's something I would put on my burritos or even like in a taco or something it's really good but it's it, it is spicy and for that, I mean, this is kind of like the spice, the best spicy hot food. So I'd have to give it another, I'd give this one an 8.5 out of 10. So yeah, Melinda's Ghost Pepper, 8.5, passing Melinda's Jalapeno Ketchup <clears throat> by half a point, just because it's more spicy than if you're going for that spice and flavor. It just really kind of, you know, delivers on that note, those two notes. This next one is Melinda's Fire Roasted Jalapeno and Garlic Pepper Sauce. So, one second here. Is that what it was? Fire roasted jalapeno and garlic. Look up, it's not popping up. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, so it was that one. Anyway, mine's got a red cap that has a black cap maybe it's this one same thing yeah anyway we're gonna try this first let's see if it has a seal so far the only one that didn't was the one that I actually liked <laughs> rated almost the highest in this score which is kind of odd you think that would be the most like the least you know rated lowest rated sauce but anyway let's open this up okay going in for the last sauce guys fire roasted jalapeno and garlic sauce looks like verde sauce let's give it a go This is another one that has kind of like a, not, I don't want to say old, but like a weird, like the way it was made, just tastes, I mean, what, it, it was fire roasted, so maybe that's what I'm tasting, just a little odd, so I, I give this one, it's not that spicy, but it is, you know, I don't know, probably like a 6.5 or a 7 out of 10. So I'd probably match that up with the Red Hot Squeeze Sriracha, but it's a little bit better than that. So if that was 6.5, this would this would be a 7. <clears throat> so in order, from best to worst, we got Melinda's Ghost Pepper Hot Sauce. Then we have Melinda's Jalapeno Ketchup. Then we have... Uh, Melinda's ghost pepper ketchup and then we have Melinda's fire roasted jalapeno and garlic pepper sauce and lastly Frank's red hot squeeze sriracha sauce which is the worst out of all these flavors if you want to buy these flavors cheap go to your local Walmart and they might have them on sale for a dollar for a reasonably sized container too of these delicious sauces 
Uh, as you can see, I am on the Discord Talks podcast channel on my Discord Mastermind. And if you guys go on my channel, you can see where the link is to join the server. If I need to repost it, I can. But it'd be cool to get some fans in, guests, and like also have some of my friends in here talk on certain episodes and about different discussions. But today I just wanted to introduce myself and start off with something kind of fun and entertaining. Like I said, all, not all of these were spicy, even though they say spicy, but they were pretty good. Hopefully my headset still stays connected as I'm taking care of this stuff. <clears throat> if you guys don't know, my other channel is Mastermind. Uh, that's the channel that's featured on this channel. So if you found me today just by searching for podcasts or something, um, definitely check out Mastermind, which is where I do most of my stuff. Like, that's my main channel. But this is just going to be my second channel where I can do something new, get more involved with my subscribers and the people that watch me and stuff like that. And, yeah. Just really trying to kick it off with a good episode. So if you guys like this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Comment down below. Share it. And, yeah, have a good day. <laughs>